Hey, what is up everybody? Platform Disciple here, and today we are playing with our triple legendary Rift Run deck once again. Uh, we are up against a triple Genesis deck, which is a little scary because they've got Taiga in the command zone, and as of now I have no way to deal with Taiga other than wait until Martyr of Death happens, um, which honestly uh, isn't the worst plan ever, but it's it's far from the best plan. So, we're just going to see what we can do in the early game, but uh, there's a very real possibility that we just can't handle their early game. But yeah, anyways, uh, our record right now is 3-1, which is not a bad start. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if we did a little better, but uh, at the same time, uh, it could be a lot worse. So, uh, one, one good thing that we have just run into is we have word of command which uh makes killing taiga a lot more plausible um it's a lot easier to kill her because they're gonna put her in the support zone and then we can easily move taiga to the defense zone and attack with a few characters uh, we just have to be careful not to make taiga too big because taiga self buffs um actually on on that subject uh, I'm gonna say that uh, they they did at one point nerf Taiga so that she um, didn't buff herself, which I thought was actually quite a good nerf because uh, I was gonna be running, and I, I don't know if I've said this in a video before or not, but I would be running four in my my triple Genesis uh, robots deck no matter what. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know why they reverted the change, like, I don't know, like, like, I mean, did they seriously say, oh, actually, this, it turns out this is too weak, um, so I'm trying to bait him into putting, uh, the combat suit onto his scouting drone, it might not happen, though, uh, we are going to use our word of command, to take care of Taiga, should actually probably arrange it like this. Even though I want to draw a card off of little Timmy Bot, uh, it's also good to um, just like keep it alive as a body on the board. Uh, I I might anti air missile and hope because he's got priority. He might put it on the flyer, um, but at the same time, uh, I think in one of the games in in the game that I lost, I lost i think in part because i kind of misused my um anti-air missile so ooh, upgrade well that's bad because that means taiga actually trades very well with our characters but at least taiga is dead so we have that going for us it's just it would have been nice if taiga um didn't kill two of our our main characters uh so poor person is messaging um So my I key is broken. Uh, which makes typing super annoying, but anyways. Uh, moving on. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna blood arrow either the scouting drone or little Timmy bot. It seems like a, a much better thing to do than use the anti-air missile. Because uh, the thing about Genesis is Genesis does have um, a few cards that have flying or can give flying. So a four or five might not be the largest threat I have to care about. Um. And we're going to actually sacrifice the defense golem because he doesn't have much juice left in him, so to speak. Uh, and we could either draw three cards from his deck, um, research, or play magic siphoner. And I think, I think we want to draw cards from his deck. Ooh. 
Ooh, so now it's, it's unfortunately definitely worth using. Oh wait, no, we, we got Firebolt, that's great. Uh, we don't have to use the anti-air missile, that's good. Um, we also got uh, Angelify, which is pretty sweet with Magic Siphoner. So we're gonna try to set that up. Um, we're gonna put one of the two twos in front of our uh, diseased brute to try to make it very difficult for him to actually kill it. Um, Cause the way to deal with diseased brute is gonna be to put one of the strongest guys to connect with it to deal a lot of damage. And if one of his stronger guys connects with the two two instead, then there's a very real possibility that uh, diseased brute either kills uh, a couple of his guys or just stalls them for a lot longer. And it looks like Disease Brute is going to block at least three characters, which is good. Ooh, that is a really big little Timmy bot, so it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um... I know I really wanted to set up for Magic Siphoner um, to use uh, Angelify, but it's looking like that might not be the smartest move anymore. Instead, we are going to uh, overcharge our Storm to hit the battlefield for 12, which takes care of everything other than uh, the shrapnel launcher, which I honestly couldn't care less about. I know I've been hyping up anti-air missile a lot, and I ended up overcharging it, but um, I think at this point I'd rather just kill it. And we do have Angelify now, so we can block flyers, and we're getting to the late game where we can actually use um, Subjugated Dragon and Martyr of Death, which both have flying and are both very good at taking care of characters with flying via either Subjugated Dragon, it'll die and make more flyers, or Murder of Death, I have the option to just straight up nuke everything if I really need to. Um, so one thing that's really good about Subjugated Dragon in this matchup, so it looks like our Storm is going to hit super well, um, but one really good thing about the, the, uh, the Dragon in this matchup is that... Uh, he doesn't have an easy way to kill the dragon without producing all the demons. Like, if, you, if you're in Veror or Exiles, um, you have ways to get rid of the dragon without uh, killing it, like Veror Kidnapper and Demonize, and there are a few other cards like that. So I think we are going to use Angelify. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mistake. Uh, I want to support drone this guy and just make him as big as I can. Um, and I think I'm relatively content like this, but I think I'll, I'll play the unstable bomb bot just in case. So he he might shoot down our 3-3, but you know what can you do? And as long as we keep drawing ability cards, the Magic Siphoner is a real threat. And he tried to kill the Magic Siphoner, but because it had Untouchable, it didn't do anything. And now he is not able to kill it with his current number of resources, which is really nice. Um, I might actually pull that back for a turn. Let the bomb got go off. Oh, shoot. Uh, so that we can spend nine to set up for Subjugated Dragon, because Subjugated Dragon is as close as you can get to just straight up winning the game against Genesis. Like, there's not really much he can do about it. Um, I could put Beast of Burden on the battlefield just in case he tries to get in for 23. I think that might be smart, because um, I I don't know how long he's going to, like, sit on this card because uh, currently it has um, extended operation on it so it is getting bigger and bigger but at the same time uh, if I were him I would seriously consider just attacking with it at this point because if he has no answer to uh, the magic siphoner it's probably best to just try to outrace me um, another possibility that he he could do would be to shoot it for 8 
uh, this turn and then shoot it for another eight the next turn. Um, but it's currently not on the battlefield, so that option's out the window for him. Okay, so it looks like we made the right call in trying to defend there. He's temporal anomalying our guy, which takes off all the buffs, which really sucks. So uh, I think we're actually going to just nuke everything. Yeah, I think we should just nuke everything, and we're going to put it in the support zone to avoid um, effects like uh, anti-air missile. Forgot the name, even though we've been talking about it the whole game. Uh, and the only reason we're moving our characters to the defense zone is because uh, controlled temporal anomaly is a preemptive effect, so there's a chance that he will use it on Martyr of Death, and then we don't get to uh, use the effect this turn. So, looks like we're going to kill all of his guys, and our guys, but we had very few guys, and Shikan is actually a real threat to us, so... Uh, and I can't imagine him having very great answers to subjugate a dragon at this point. Like, he might have an anti-air missile, in which case, like, we still get the 6-6s. Six so I think I'm actually just going to put it straight into the assault zone. Um, unless he puts something out that I, like, need to defend, but I can't even think of anything that I would really care about. Alright, so he did play several characters. Um, we have priority, so we can, bare minimum, we can take out that, uh, the Genesis battle suit. This is rough. I'm gonna reshuffle, or shuffle away, uh, ooh. Oh, God! Ugh. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll defend with it. I didn't mean to give myself an extra resource. <sighs> and that's the the one thing you can't undo that you should be able to undo. Uh, as you can see, no undo button. It's because it's in there with shuffle a card and draw a card, which obviously you can't undo because once you've done them, it would be very clear whether it was an advantageous move or not. Like if I shuffle away, uh, struggle for power and see that I get a piece of crap, then I did the undo button and decided to do something else. That would be kind of, that would not be the intention of that feature. Uh, however, the gain nine resources, there's no reason not to undo it. It sucks though, because we're going to have to trade our dragon, um, which was giving us quite an advantage. I guess the, the good news is that he's actually getting very low on morale. Uh, and we, we do have Demoralize. Um, ah, that, that sucked. Uh, I think we're going to hold on to Demoralize for the time being. I'm thinking whether I want to draw a card or shuffle away. Um, struggle for power. There isn't really that much of a difference other than if I draw a card, I have larger number of cards I have access to overall, but if I shuffle one away, which is what I'm going to do, I have the ability to play it this turn. Um, well, provided that it costs three or less, which Rancid clearly doesn't, uh, but we can play Wealthy Noble. So he's getting aggressive, which is potentially good for us, because I think we might end up winning through uh, morale rather than damage. Um, ooh, Mass Death. Does that just, like, win us the game? That might just win us the game. We're gonna go for it. Uh, all, all our demons die, but what can you do? Yeah, I can't move it to the sport zone. But I can defend in the case that somehow my guys live. Uh, it's not gonna happen, though. I can't think of what he would play that would stop Mass Death. Uh, there's... Mass Temporal Shift, which removes all of his characters from play for the turn. Um, would be a next level play, though. Uh, it would actually work pretty well for him. So you'd get 
multiple interdimensional phase bots, but those would still be on the battlefield. And what we're trying to do is just kill two interdimensional phase bots so that we can win between that and demoralize. So uh, I think we've won because I, I think he's just trying to outrace us and he doesn't realize that what I'm the the number I'm actually looking at is his 23 morale and not his 37 health. So yeah. And there's mass death. And that that uh, sucked all his morale out even without the demoralize. And that's game over. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, shorter than the other ones. The other ones were two games. But I think it was just as good. And uh, I will upload more videos in this series. I will keep uploading until I lose with this deck. And until next time, everyone, peace out.